We stayed in Garstang for two days. It was a lovely little market town in Lancashire. The market held weekly on a Thursday dates back to the early, th early 1300s and stretches the whole length of the High Street. We left Garstang crossing the River Wire on a fine stone aqueduct by the engineer John Rennie and head south on the Lancaster Canal. We moored at an isolated mooring between bridges 55 and, 60 and 56 just south of Garstang and this video picks up from here. We continue our southward journey as we have our Ribble Link Crossing boot. We soon encountered the new Flower Bowl complex which was an entertainment centre. Certainly plenty to do to keep people entertained here. The canal here is quiet and dotted with the odd house or farm but staying quite remote. There was also a lovely garden centre and farm shop which was more to our taste. Further south we encountered Billsborough where we stayed for a couple of nights. Here we found old nails and guys thatched hamlets. There are boaters facilities here and they're the last ones before the Ribble Link crossing. At Swilbrook Bridge we pass a boatyard but continue until just after Bridge 24 where we moored for a couple of days before our Ribble Link crossing. Good morning everybody. Morning everyone. And uh, welcome to our vlog. Are you join us on a cloudy day? Yeah, yeah. They do forecast light, very light rain. So um, I kind of think we're on the edge of a weather front. So. Yeah, it was really blowy yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So and it's, blooming blowy. Yeah, we didn't move anywhere yesterday, did we? No. No, we moved out from Garstang a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. um, moved and, into um, a lovely little spot. Yeah, around 48 hours, were, uh, two days, we're up at Garstang, so we've done what we needed to do there, we did some shopping and stuff. We've moved down to an isolated mooring about um, about 40 minutes. Yeah, about something 40 like that. 40 minutes from Garstang. Yeah. And it's lovely and quiet here. So we stayed here yesterday and just had a chill out day, because um, it was really windy. It so, was nice, but yeah. and it was sunny. But yeah. it's just blooming windy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's quite overcast and cloudy today. Mm -hmm. um, so we're moving on. We're going to be just moved down to Billsborough. Yeah, not very um, far away, is it? But no, no. Uh, there's services at Billsborough. Not that we're in dire need of them, but no. That's the uh, a stop with the last services before the Ribble Link. So we're due to yeah, go. Yeah, we're heading back home. Yeah, we're due to go back. we would be back on the mainland the... soon. What do you mean home? This is well, back our on... home. We're well, back on the our home. Well, back on the mainland. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> mainland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it felt actually. It, it's felt like it's we've been on holiday. Yeah. I think so. We've crossed the Ribble Link, and we've had seven weeks up here, and it's felt like a long holiday. Yeah. Hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's so actually we've going, also got a date going back yeah well, going back on the ribble link makes it feel as if we're going back home doesn't it yeah kind of back to the mainland <laughs> yeah, it seems, seems a bit odd but but yeah it feels as if we're going back home <sighs> um but uh, yeah so billsborough is the last services before apart from the water tap i think before the ribble link um and our passage across there and we've got what about another four or five days, haven't we? Yeah, something before we like go that. back. Yeah. Um, so we're going to stay perhaps a couple of days in Billsborough, then move down to another isolated spot. There was a beautiful spot on the way up, so we're going to yeah. go back there. Yeah. Um, and spend a couple of nights before we go back onto the Ribble Link. Yeah. So so, but today our journey is just to Billsborough, which is literally probably an hour. Yeah, something like that. It's not even. It's only a couple of miles. Yeah. So probably about an hour. See how we go. See how we go. See you later. Bye.
uh, not too bad. We're just making our way down very slowly. Morning. Morning. Wake you up. Wake you, wake you. Wake you, wake you. You think I'm mad, didn't you? Well, you're probably right. <laughs> My groupie. <laughs> yeah, probably right. <laughs> A lot of old cows. <laughs> Coal yard, possibly even just a coal yard. You can hear road noise actually, it's quite loud the road noise. Looks like it's a star or something probably owns that. Really lovely. The, uh, you've got a road just over there and uh, these big pylons. prettiest of things but I suppose they're part of our countryside because of our living now with, with needing all the electricity that we need. Island I think pointing out the fact that uh, she can hear them humming. I would turn the camera around the other way so that the pole's up so you could hear them. Dome things all about. If you've been following us for a little while, you'll know that there's a piece that I did about what sheep do all day in a field. Um, eventually, <laughs> I'm going to do what cows do in a day, and we'll see what they do. So keep watching. Can you spot the odd one out? That's what I want to know.
bit of a bend. A little bit noisy with the road around here, but there's a house there for sale. The trouble is, it's on the main road. You can see the road just over there. We spent overnight these moorings where the there's a flower bowl entertainment center there's a, there's a crazy golf course and virtual darts and an ice curling ring to name but a few things that are in there a nice little cafe and a restaurant and at the end there is a fish and chip restaurant which we sampled and that was very nice. Looks like a big car park but it doesn't get that busy so it's been fairly quiet here. Um, oh there's a farm shop and a garden centre over the back there and the farm shop's beautiful although maybe a little bit on the pricey side but got some lovely meat and veg. So we're just a short journey today. We're just going down to Billsborough. There's services at Billsborough, which are the last services before the Ribble Link. And uh, we might stop in Billsborough overnight before we move down, ready for our crossing in a couple of days. So, perhaps cast off and we're on our way. Oh, by the way, there's sheep on that roof. So that's a bit of a novelty. Spot the heron. There were two there just now, but one's flown off. Two in a row. They usually do fly off as soon as you get to them. This is Billsborough. Quite nice. There's the uh, canal. With flowers. Where are we, honey? <laughs> Old Nell's, apparently. Old oh. Nell's Tavern. Old Nell's Tavern. Mm. Very nice pottery. I was looking at that look wanted good woman. Must be able to cook, wash, clean, and duck fish. <laughs> Must have boat and motor. <laughs> P.S. Send, please send photo of boat and motor. <laughs> good, isn't it? Different, isn't it? Really? 
really nice place. Dog obviously decided to go for a dip. You can see why mooring can be a bit difficult on this canal. The towpath is overgrown quite a bit. Um, and uh, yep, there's a, a lot of areas like this. Uh, but equally, you know, there are places to moor, so um, you just got to get on with it. Hillsborough this morning, uh, around about 11ish, something like that. Uh, we topped up with some more water because I managed to get some washing done before we left. So uh, we topped up with water, we've cruised for about three hours and arrived at this lovely mooring which is about 
which is about 40 minutes away from the Lancaster um, Basin to the Ribble Link. So this is our penultimate day, so we're going to have a day of rest tomorrow. Just going to chill out really for our last day. You can see I've got some washing on the back deck there. We stopped here on the way up, but that was seven weeks ago and the grass has grown somewhat since then. Some lovely views. I think we were actually a bit further up than we were before. So we've got some reeds that side, which we can't see. It's a little bit more open down there, I think. Um, but we were a bit concerned that if we've moved further down, we might not get a space because that was a winding hole just there. So you can't moor opposite the winding hole. But like I said, we're here for tomorrow and then we're crossing the Ribble Link again. Please comment down below and uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And once you've subscribed, if you click the bell button, you'll get notifications of future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.